Hello everyone, good day all. Today we want to do an exercise in SOLIDWORKS involving the following properties. We want to do exercise that enable us, that will teach us how to choose a plane, how to sketch, how to dimension, how to extrude boss base, how to extrude cut, how to fillet, how to extrude boss base with offset distance, how to train, how to convert entities, and how to do linear pattern. But don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorial. This is an exercise that we want to do. We want to sketch to model this part in our SOLIDWORKS uh, software. We want to do it with this uh, dimensions that are shown here now if you have your solidwork uh, software you open it this is solidwork version 2018 to open to the working environment you come to this new icon and click here or you come to file this drop down menu and click new you are designing a part so you will select Part and say OK and allow the working environment to open for you. Yes, now this is SolidWork environment graphical user graphical user interface. Now we are going to start to we're going to choose a plane. We're going to choose a plane that will enable us to draw this lab first. We take it step by step. So stay tuned and pay attention. First, we are going to draw this slab, this down part. The length is 150 and the width is 120. And the, the height is 20. So now we first of all choose a plane. Let us choose front plane. Click on this front plane and watch out for this small dialog box and press on this sketch. You will sketch to enable the front plane platform position normal to you. Now, we're going to pick a rectangle tool. You come to rectangle tool, click on this fly out, pick center rectangle. Come to the origin and sketch. You sketch. You release your mouse to go away from this, to drop this uh, rectangle tool. Either you right click. And select or you press escape key on your keyboard or you simply come to this standard menu and click this select select to drop that menu now we're going to go to smart dimension we want to dimension our slab we're going to dimension it click on smart dimension the your cursor has changed indicating that the, the dimension 2 is already active you come to any part of this uh, rectangle, click on it, make sure you highlight it before you click, click, then drag up, drop that modify button, uh, dialog box, put your dimension. The, the length of this lab is 150. 150. You come to the, the, the width is 20. The width is 20. Then the breed now. Will be we are going to extrude it to drop down to drop this uh, dimension to click select. Now I want to extrude this our slab. I want to make it solid to put a volume to it. Now you can use your middle mouse button, press it down to orbit your sketch, orbit your sketch, orbit your sketch. Remember you are still under. You are not done with this uh, this sketch. If you look at this. This icon here means your sketch is you, you are on a particular plane and it is active. So, like I was saying, you can use a medium mouse button, press it down, that scroll button, press it down, and rotate your, your, your path. Now, I want to extrude it. You come to this uh, command manager, come to feature, click on feature, click on extrude boss base. I want to extrude. 
Now I'll show you that the uh, part is about to extrude. Now, how do you want to extrude it? You come to this direction one. You click on that fly out. You want to extrude it mid plane. Select mid plane. Mid plane means you want to extrude it from the center to either side equally. Now, you want to extrude it by 120. Put 120 in this uh, extrude bus bay dialog bus. You, if you put 120, you say OK. You say OK. Now we have extrude our part. We have extrude our slab, the first slab. Now we are going to fillet it, fillet one part, one head. We want to fillet this head, fillet this head. And we are going to fillet it with a radius of 15. Go back to their model. We want to choose any part, any face, and fillet. We want to fillet this part. You come to feature, you select fillet, fillet from here. You put 15 on this uh, fillet, fillet uh, dialog box. The, the default figure there, value there is 10. You put 15. You put 15. You come and select the edges. Select this edge. Highlight it to highlight. Come to this page. You can zoom to see where. Yes, you have two, those two edges are the one we are going to fillet. If you have filleted, you say OK. As you fillet, you see the value, you say the radius is. Is 15 millimeter. You come to here and say OK. Say OK. Now we have created this part. We have created this part. Now go back. We want to choose a front, a, a side that we're going to extrude this other uh, height, this other part up here. We are going to choose the back of that slab. We're going to sketch on it. We never us erase this other part on that place. So watch out. Come go back to your model. You can use a middle mouse button to zoom, to zoom and rotate it. So is this part that we are going to sketch the other, the other, uh, other height, uh, other part? You come to this face, you zoom away, come to this place, click on this face, click on this face. This small dialog will open for you. Press sketch. If you press sketch, means OK. Your sketch is now active. To make it position it for, for you where you come to this normal, make it normal, this YouTuber, make it normal. So I can position for you here. Yeah, that position your yeah, sketch for you to enable us erase this other uh, top part on it. So to shift this uh, you can decide to zoom this your yeah, slab to take it down to enable you uh, have more space up here. You press down your control key. And press down your screw button, that uh, middle mouse button, drag it down, press it down with your middle uh, control key combination of that uh, screw button down and drag it down. Now you want to position it here so that it enables erase this other part here. That's what makes us to drag it down. You can zoom it, use that middle mouse button to zoom it, zoom out, zoom out, and put it down. Just be flexible with your mouth like that. Okay, now you are going to pick a circle tool. To pick a circle tool, pick a circle tool, come to any part, come to the center, make sure it's at the center. If it's at the center from this origin, a line will show. You press, you press and sketch your circle. Sketch another circle. You are still on that circle to sketch another circle. Now you can decide to put can decide to put a construction line. Come to line to pick this center line from this center. Draw a line perpendicular to this surface. Let it be at the middle. To draw that to right click and select or simply come to here and select. Now we have to measure our our circle. Now the first circle is uh, 80. The bigger circle is 80. The bigger circle is 80. Okay, it's only one circle, rather. So we'll cancel one circle. You click on the circle and press delete on your keyboard. So you are going to sketch. You are going to sketch this. Uh, now you want to pick. 
pick our dimension two, pick our dimension two and change the dimension. Dimension the dimension of this is eighty two eighty uh, millimeter diameter. Now you can zoom in, zoom out, you can still take it down. Now I want to erase another circle of this this other part, this upper part have two circles, circle of diameter 55 and circle of diameter 25. So you still go directly up, pick a circle two. You can do without dropping this two. You can click back on the smart dimension to drop the two or come to this circle, the circle two and pick the circle two. Still on that very line, make sure it's aligned. Draw a circle. You draw another circle. Now you have to your dimension two. Pick it. Measure this one fifty five. Measure the inner one twenty five. Twenty five. Yes. Very good. You are done. You can drop that two. Go back to the model. Now you're going to draw a line from this circle to this other circle. Draw a, a line tangent to the two circles from both sides. I'm going to pick a line, pick a line to come to this side at any dot, not at the middle, not at the middle. Pick it at any point, pass on the middle of that center, pick it from there. You can drop it at any point here. You right click, select, pick another two, another line two from this side, not at the middle here. Don't press at the middle here. Put an and let it be tangent. Let it be tangent. This surface, you say select. And now to make it tangent, to make this a circle tangent. Okay, let's draw another line to complete. Draw this line from this circle down here to this surface. We okay, pick another line. Pick another line, draw from here to this surface, right click, select, pick another line, go over to this side and draw from here down, vertically downward, you right click, select. Now we are going to make sure if you want to put some relation, you want to put the relation, you press, you click this line, click on it, go down your control key, press on this circle. Click on this circle, remove your hand. A dialog box will open for you. you. Want to make it tangent? You want to make that line tangent to the circle? Click on the tangent. Okay, okay. This other side, click on this line. Hold down your control key and press this circle. Remove your hand. This dialog, this small dialog box will open for you, or you can simply do it from here. If this one goes up, you can simply come to this side. Click tangent. You want to make it tangent? Likewise, this line. Click here. And click the circle, move your hand, make it tangent. This line too, click on it, hold down your control key, press down the circle, press here, make it tangent, go over here, go over here. You can undo, you can undo, you can undo here, you can press this one down. Okay, let's leave it like that. We'll make it. If you want to make this line also tangent to this circle, click on this circle, hold this line, hold down your control key, click on the circle, make tangent. This other side, zoom out to see where, click on this line, hold down control key, click on this line of the circle, and make, uh, make it uh, tangent. Click that side. Want to make the center of this circle or the two circles with this origin. Make it vertical. Click on this place on the, on the center line. Hold down. Click on this center line. Hold down. Make it vertical. That line is vertical now. And you can see click from the origin. From the origin, click origin. Hold down your control key. Click on this circle on the center of the circle. Click here. Remove your your hand from the control key. Look at this uh, small dialog board or come to this place and click vertical. 
want to make the vertical. Yes, you are making vertical. Now, now we're going to go to my dimension, other dimension. Now, the center from the distance from the center of this uh, first circle to the, the face of this slab is 95. Yeah, is it 95? No, it is 100. And the center from this, the distance from this center of this upper circle to this other one is 90. So I'm going to put 990 respectively. So we are smart dimension to place the center of this circle, place the surface here, drag it here, make it 100, put 100 and say okay. Now come to this place, the center of this circle and this other circle, drag here, you have 90. You have 90. Yes, it's done. To remove that tool, you can select or click back the tool to deselect it. Oh, you are following. Now, we're going to do some. Okay, I'm going to do convert entities. I'm going to teach you how to convert entities. Now, come to this uh, sketch, come to convert entities, click on the convert entities, and let the dialog box to open. Click this surface. Click this surface, the line of this, the edges of this slab. Click on it and say OK. Now you see the line now is not ticking, it's not darkening. Now we want to trim, we want to do trim, a trim, we want to trim some parts that we do not want. We want to come to trim to, click trim to, come to this place, we want to sketch here, we have removed this part, that this line. Want to sketch here, want to uh, trim here. Now, this, uh, this darker line, a darker line has removed, this other part has removed, leaving only the inner part. The essence of converting this is to make the in, uh, your, your, your sketch form a closed loop, form a closed loop to enable you uh, to enable you do what? To enable you to extrude. Now, you are going to Remove this part, remove this part, when to remove this part, when to remove this part. Now we have removed this part, remove, uh, leaving only the inner part. Now we are going to extrude this part. Come to feature, extrude boss base, change this part, and it has extrude. You can use a middle mouse button to zoom around to see where the direction of the extrusion. So we want to extrude it inside, come to this uh, direction. Come to this opposite, uh, this direction, reverse direction. We're going to change the direction, switch the direction. Now the extrude uh, direction has changed. Now, how long, how are we going to extrude it? The, the thickness of the extrusion, we are going to extrude it by, um, let us use this, let's use 20. Let's use 20. We're going to extrude it by 20. Come to this dimension, the depth of the extrusion, put 20. 20. Now our, our student has changed. Now say, okay, we are satisfied with that. Now we have extruded this part. We have extruded this part like this. Now we want to extrude this part. Now we want to fillet it so that it will correspond to the edges of this. We want to fillet all the parts. We want to fillet by a radius of 15, a radius of 25. See the 25, a radius of 25. Want to fillet, come to feature, come to fillet, click fillet, zoom in to see the edges. You are want to uh, extrude these edges. Click on it. You can put a value of 25. The one there is 5 because of the previous one we used. Let's put 25 there. It has increased. <coughs> zoom into this other side, rotate it to this other side, find the edges where before you, you click, click on this edge. Now the, the two edges have been selected. Now you are satisfied with it. Now say OK. Now we have filleted our part very well. Now we are almost done. Now you have seen how it has filleted very well. Now the next now is we are going to put this other circle extrusion. Extrude it forward. <coughs> and then the circle have two circles there also. The first circle is the last circle is 50. 
diameter and the smaller circle is still 28 is 28 so we'll go over here so we are going to put that circle description up at the front here so anywhere you want to sketch on you click that that side and skip that field and skip i'm going to put that uh, part in, uh, in the front here you click on this front click here and sketch if that logo open for you and skip make sure it opens for you before you skip click on it again and sketch to position it well for you break, uh, click on this normal make it normal for you come and pick your circle too so you are looking for the center of this circle center of this place or that former circle so you come to the edges here to let your cursor rub the edges here to enable you see the center as you click your as you position your cursor at the edges here you definitely see the center in this plus to locate the center you start from you start sketching from the center you sketch you sketch sketch another circle drop that one sketch another circle now come to smart dimension you can drop that tool by select come to smart dimension dimension this one have 50 dimension the smaller one click on it and drag aside drop put 28 put 28 we are done you can click here to drop the two drop the two now come to <coughs> extrude boss bay feature extrude boss bay now you zoom in to see the thing about to extrude we are going to extrude the depth of uh, 45 depth of 45 now put 45 here yeah. 45 here nice so let it be 40 let it be 40 put it 40 now say okay that is true by 40 now that is true by 40 now we are almost done we are almost done we are almost done now go over i'm going to put this rib this rib at the center how do we put it we are going to select a face that will enable us to position it well. You come to this plane, the plane that will enable you to zoom around to see the plane that will put the plane, plane that will position this uh, this slab, position it like this. That is the plane that you choose. Come to this plane and look for any plane. Definitely is the front plane that will enable us to do that. Check uh, top plane, no, check right plane, no. Okay, let us choose front plane. Click front plane and sketch front plane and sketch. Yes, make it normal. Make it normal for you. You can switch the direction, switch the direction from that normal to position for you. If only the position like this to enable me sketch, or let it position like this, like it was before, to enable me sketch. Now you come and pick, you come to sketch, pick spline. You come to this fly out. The first line, pick that first line, and you start from this origin, this point here. You sketch, you sketch, and you can rotate it to look for the center of this place. The center of this place, center is definitely at this line, the line from the origin. That's where you have the, that's where you have the, uh, the center. Click on it, click on that and right click and select to draw right click and select to drop that tool now put it normal to enable you see it well now you see how where it has gone you can take it to the edges of this place or simply see what you do you want to make it you click the the point here click on it hold down the control key come to this surface this line of this surface Click on it, remove your hand, make it pierce, make pierce, yes, so that it will be at the middle, it will be at the edges. You now say, okay. You now click back your, your normal to position it. Now click on the line to enable you bend it. Come to this edge, bend it, you can bend it, shape it. That is a spline, spline is flexible. You can take it to any uh, curve you want make it curve like this look at our picture this you know it curve this uh, 
dream it calls that is caused very well so we are we're going to twist on it this line you can let it curve well manipulate it but make sure it calls very well if you are satisfied with that you can rotate to see how it does curve now click back on the normal click back on the normal now we are going to make sure we feel this inner part we feel this inner part if you look at the rib the rib start from the inner part it will extrude from inside to this edge well, what we enable us to do that is we are going to convert the uh, entity this inner part we are going to convert it how do we do it come to convert entity click on it click on it click select this this part to select it if anything is selected to register in the select uh, the convert entity dialog box so we are going to select this edge again select on it select on this part select here click here zoom to select this part select all of them we are select these edges now you now say okay now you are going to uh, trim out the part that we don't want see this part now is involved if we extrude now it will affect it so you are going to trim this part off leaving only the inner side to make the complete loop come to trim button click the trim button the trim to remove this part now we are done with that make sure that the one that is left it enable us to to, uh, to extrude inside now go to you can zoom around to check now you know that 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 case now is at the middle because of the convert entities it's at the middle now now we can extrude now come to feature extrude both this now it has shown you that you want to extrude how do you want to extrude it we have to extrude it from the uh, mid plane come to direction click on this blind or click on this blind click on the blind click on that that stop and click the select the mid plane mid plane means we want to extrude it from the from the middle to either side equally now we're going to extrude it by a distance of uh, a distance of 10 Extrude by 10. Extrude by 10. So you now put you have choose the direction. Put 10 here. Yeah. Put 10. Now now it has shrink. Now say okay. Now say okay. Now it shows all that the next extrude because of the mesh uh, mesh result that is uh, is thick. So you uncheck it. To effect to see what you have done to make the effect to that extrusion remove this check uh, 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 check mark remove it now yeah this thing will come up now say okay now we have successfully draw our part very well you can see it you can see it now it's done and okay we want to do some part to enable us complete we have done with um we are done with choosing our planes, sketching, dimension, extrude both base. As, okay, we have not done extrude cut. Extrude cut. So we have not done extrude cut. We have not done linear pattern. So you're going to choose to complete this other property. Now go back. Select this surface. We're going to put some holes, two holes on this place, two holes on this place. We're going to put a hole here, put a hole here, put a hole here, put a hole here. Now we're going to start from one side. You want to sketch on the surface, click on the surface and sketch. Make it normal, make it normal to you. Come to circle, click a circle, turn on any point, click a circle, draw it here. Now come to smart dimension, distance from this place to this place, let it be 15, 15, and distance from here to this center let it be 15 likewise 15 and the diameter of the circle let it be 10 yes that's very good to drop this to to click here right click and select or select from here or escape key on your keyboard now we are going to extrude this part extrude that that small part I want to put a drill a hole on that slab come to feature Select a shoot cut. A shoot cut now. You can select, you can see that it's now effect is active. Now, how do you want to execute it? 
want it your studio to use other surface. How do you do that? Come to this direction, click on this fly out, click here, and say through all. Through all means let it cut across that surface to the other end. Now say okay. Now say okay. That's very good. Now you now see our hole is now there. So we are going to pattern and how to how do you what is mean by pattern? Pattern means to replicate a particular part to the other side by a distance. So we are going to select this hole now. And pattern it this side, and now select it from this side and pattern it to this other side. So come to linear this uh, pattern feature, come to this linear pattern, come to this fly out, click on the fly out, the first one linear pattern, linear pattern uh, dialog box has opened. Now you have to you want to select the direct the direction, the direction. First select the direction. You yeah, select the direction. Now select the we are going to select the property. Come to the feature to, to pattern. The feature to pattern is this hole. You can select it from here, or you come to this part and select it's already selected from here. You can select it directly from here. Assuming you are, you are doing a, a complicated part that you don't have access to select it directly on the graphical area. You come to this part, come to this right out, click on it on that part. You are designing, come to the, 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 the part you have just done, or the one you did last with the and the extreme end here you select it, it's already selected because you selected it from here. And that is the part you are going to pattern. You now say how, how many you want to pattern two. Which direction? Okay. That is the direction we want to pattern it. You can that is the direction we want to pattern it. You can put a distance. The distance you want to pattern it to this other side. You want to pattern it to this other side. Choose a distance or let us choose a distance. Let's put 50. Let's put 50 and see. At a distance of 50, we'll drag it. Let's put it more. Let's put 100. 100, yes. Okay, let it be there in that place. 100. You are done with that. Okay. And we have put a hole in that place. Put a hole here and hole here. The distance of this hole and this one is 100. So we are going to replicate this part, these two holes, to this other side. So we are going to use the same linear pattern. So what do you do? You come to the linear pattern, click on the linear pattern, yes. come to select, you select the hole, hold on your control key, select this, the last pattern, and select this S2 called uh, these two other ones. And the two of them are now selected. Now choose the direction we are going to, direction one. You're going to extrude uh, this other side, this other side to position here, so we choose the direction. Click on this surface, and switch the direction. You now go on this side, See that they are not going this side. Switch the direction. Switch the direction. They are not coming to this side. Now, we want to put the direction of the uh, distance of that is the 80. Let it not go outside of the slab. It is 80. Okay. No, that is the. Let us put 90. I can put 90. This will be okay. So, we are okay with this one. See how it has. You can rotate it. You can rotate it. See how it is position where the lines are, uh, they are up, oh, yeah, they are okay, yeah. Now say they are okay with the positioning. Now say okay, okay, very good. Now we have drawn our path by executing all those properties very well. So you can follow the step one after the other to draw this path very like this. As it is, as you see, it is very easy. Now stay tuned for the next uh, tutorial. But no, we have not saved this part. You come to you have not saved come to the title bar, see part one. It's the part the first part we are sketching. And it shows this as steady because it has not saved. So you come to this save button, click on it, you now save. How do you want to save? You say uh don't call it slab, slab, slab part. That's how you save it, anyhow you want to save it. Choose a folder you want to save it anywhere you want to save it, like the normal saving in your Microsoft Word or any other uh, computer uh, packages. Now say, now say OK. Now the part has been saved. Now the name now is written on it. So that is the essence and the extent we have gone to draw this part. It's easy. Follow all the path, follow all the steps to draw it by yourself. Thank you and stay tuned for the next tutorial.